Hello, my name is Tracy Cooper Lavery and I'm the director of Rockhampton Art Gallery. Uh, well, uh, I'm, I've been here at the gallery for just on seven months and uh, came to the gallery from uh, Bendigo and Victoria. My most memorable experience with art would be uh, when I was young, I was uh, probably when I was in primary school uh, and I was uh, studying art and it was one of my favourite things at school. It's always been one of my favourite things and I remember my teacher at the time uh, calling my mum uh, at a parent-teacher evening and, and saying to my mother that she had to stop encouraging me to be interested in art and to be an artist because I was never going to be any good and that I should, uh, I should probably focus my attention on business studies. So I guess for me that's probably my most memorable uh, experience because I didn't pay any attention to what she said and uh, I kept going with my love of art. The strengths of the Rockhampton Art Gallery collection uh, are definitely the works from the mid uh, to late uh, 20th century uh, Australian works. Uh, we've got such an amazing collection of uh, artists such as Sidney Nolan, Fred Williams, John Brack, Charles Blackman and it, for a regional gallery it's a really impressive collection and uh, I think that's something for me that I'm really keen to uh, promote while I'm here at the galleries to, to kind of get that collection out to the public so that the people can really enjoy it. Uh, my favourite part of the collection would be uh, those, those really well-known artists from, from the collection so the, the, that sort of mid 20th century period, uh, particularly the, the artists that were involved uh, as part of the Angry Penguins, the group that formed sort of in the 40s in Melbourne, uh, all part of the Heidi group as well. They were all sort of that same group. Uh, I think they are really strong in the collection. The work I've chosen today is Alice in Wonderland by Charles Blackman from the mid-1950s. I guess I've always been uh, a bit of a fan of Charles Blackman. I really like his work and in particular the Alice series I think are really beautiful and uh, quite profound works. Uh, I think the, the piece that's in the Rockhampton Art Gallery collection is a really good example of, of that series by, by Blackman. Uh, I was really drawn to this artwork uh, by Blackman, uh, particularly the eyes I think were what uh, kind of caught my attention first. The eyes are really large in Alice's face and when you know a little bit about the history of this series by Blackman, um, it, it kind of makes sense because uh, at the time when he produced these works, his wife, Barbara Blackman, was actually starting to lose her sight quite dramatically and uh, he, that obviously affected him quite a lot. And so when you look at a lot of the Alice works, uh, Alice has very large eyes and quite grey eyes. And Blackman actually, after the Alice series was completed, towards the late 50s, he actually did a portrait of his wife, Barbara, after she'd lost her sight and the eyes are really quite different to how the Alice pictures look. I think the other interesting thing about uh, this work and and I guess the, the Blackman series and the way that Charles Blackman paints is it's quite an expressionistic uh, way of painting. You can really see the artist's hand in the work. It's a very kind of graphic, uh, it's a very graphic painting for me and I think the thing that is interesting as well is that when you uh, when you look at the Alice in Wonderland story, um, even though it's a children's story, it really has quite a dark, strange, kind of even gothic undertone, I guess. And, and I kind of sense that from this picture as well, because even though you've got Alice standing there uh, with her pretty blue dress and her flowers, I, I guess the way the background's painted in those kind of muted browns and greys, it, it kind of gives a dark, sinister feel to the painting. Uh, the composition in the work I think is is really striking. Um, again, when you sort of look at, at Alice's face, uh, you've got these very kind of angular uh, shapes and the background is very angular as well where you have these lines kind of heading up towards her forehead that kind of draw your eye up to the face. And, and also I, I kind of, I guess, looking at the image again now, when you look at her face, even though it's quite angular, the actual shape of the face is a really heart-shaped face, which I think is probably a a symbolic feature that Blackman's put into the image. I think with this work, uh, Blackman, and, and and also I guess with the with the Alice in Wonderland series, uh, it, it, it 
A lot of black men's work kind of, I guess, looks at the duality of life. So the picture's really telling two stories. It's telling us the story about Alice in Wonderland, which you know would be familiar to most people, but it's also telling us the story of his wife, Barbara, and her, um, her sight and the way that her sight started to fail and, and just the difficulties that that would have um, had associated with it. Charles Blackman uh, is uh, probably, I guess, arguably one of Australia's most uh, important uh, living artists. Uh, he, as I said, he, he was involved uh, with uh, the Heidi group and uh, was, was part of the Angry Penguins. Many years ago now, when I used to work at the Gold Coast City Art Gallery, we did a big exhibition of Charles Blackman's Alice pictures and we invited Charles to come to the opening and we had a Mad Hatter's tea party and it was just a fantastic opportunity that I got to actually meet Charles Blackman and speak with him about the works and uh, he spent the evening uh, in this giant throne <laughs> that we had brought into the uh, into the gallery and he sat at the end of a very long table just like the Mad Hatter's tea party and wore a crown and it was again it was quite surreal to have Charles Blackman in the room surrounded with all his pictures and uh, kind of, I suppose, lording over the, the group of people there. <laughs> Since I've been uh, working at the gallery, I've had, I've had some opportunity to start to uh, really investigate the collection, but it's been great to actually uh, do this uh, artwork of the month because it's meant that it's given me that a little bit more focus and to really think about the, the pieces that are in the collection. And I have to admit, it was really hard to pick a work because we have so many great pictures in the collection. Um, I'm looking forward to working more on the collection and doing more research on these fantastic uh, mid 20th century pictures that we have in the collection. Having this fantastic collection in Rockhampton is a, is a fantastic opportunity for people to really uh, experience some of the greatest artists and, and greatest works uh, created by Australian artists and I think that uh, you know it's really important I mean one of the things I really want to do while I'm here is is encourage as many people as possible to come and see the collection and see the exhibitions that we put together from this amazing group of works <laughs>